today we are going to live in the village. I'm moving in with Lynn for the foreseeable future, which is 24 hours. <laughs> It's me, Cecilia, on Svalbard, an island close to the North Pole. We are spending the next 24 hours living in Longyearbyen, the world's northernmost town, to experience some polar night village life and to do what the locals do. The cabin I live in is located 8 kilometers outside of the village, and it has been almost 5 years since I last lived in Longyearbyen. So I'm looking forward to a night out on the town with my friend Lynn and enjoying some of the gorgeous polar night Longyearbyen views, and also some fun with a good friend. If you are new here, welcome to life in the Arctic. You might be wondering why it's pitch black at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and it's because Svalbard is located so far north that we are tilted away from the sun for four months, leaving us in the pitch black darkness of polar night from November to February. But if you are not new here, welcome back. So today we're gonna drink glug, we're gonna go out on the town, we're gonna have a girl's night out. I don't think I've done this kind of video or this kind of evening in a really long time. And I'm excited. Inside we go. Shoes off. In most of the apartment buildings, you have to take your shoes off in this area. It's originally an old rule from there when there was mostly coal mining to avoid bringing coal dust and stuff inside. But now it just lives on because it's a very clean way to live. Honey, it's Honey, me. I'm home. I have come to move in. <laughs> guys, come inside. This is the third member of today. All of these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, guess what this is? Oh, that is so good. But so today we are in the village. And Lynn is back home for just a week. So we had our yearly gingerbread decoration evening mm. where I won. <laughs> <laughs> I won! <laughs> I think this is one of my favorites because it's a very high ceiling yeah. and you get a very beautiful uh, view when it's not the dark season. Yeah, so behind here are mountains covered in snow and a fjord. Mm. Here we have the bedroom. Bathroom. <laughs> this is so cozy. Hello, Alihopa. This is my friend Lynn, who you have seen before in many videos. She is back in town for a week, so we decided to have a sleepover to really maximize our time spent together. She's lived here on Svalbard for over six years and is currently working on an expedition boat. If you watched the video where we took the boat to the mainland, you know all about it already. And if you haven't seen that already, go and check it out when you're done with this video. The boat spends a season in Northern Norway, so that is where she has been for the last few weeks. And then in about a week, she's leaving to spend some of her off season time on the mainland. But so we're in the village to hang out with Lynn and see what the villagers do. Because I've lived in the cabin now for how many years? Four? So we're gonna go out on the town also, which we never mm. do. No, and we look like twins. We look the same! What do you do for school? I have one par school. Possible to see you and they get mad. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> I wasn't built for any kind of weather, but it's not cold. <laughs> Lynn says she thinks it's gonna be northern lights. Might be. And I think you're right, because it has that kind of vibe in the air. Mm. <laughs> Lynn and I are channeling two very different lives today. <laughs> we are 
we are dressed very differently <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> I'm picking my kids up from soccer and Lynn is on her way to a... Like a, a casting, I was yeah. gonna say, for a modeling, but sure. <laughs> and I club could also go. Bye, see ya. Stay calm, young reindeer. You don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, they go so bra. Stay where you are. Continue the feast. Longyearbyen is a very small town where reindeer roam freely on the streets and everything is within walking distance. Most of the restaurants and bars are also located on the main street, which means it's very easy to go on a bit of a pub crawl, which is what our plan was today. We are now at Hotel Polfaren. It's a hotel, but they have a really cozy uh, seating area with an open fire. And I think we can get some uh, schwark, meaning some cheese and some ham and maybe a glass of something nice. That's our plan. So we're going to go inside. Everything is really in walking distance. It took us maybe six or seven minutes to get here from Lynn's apartment. <laughs> That's perfect. Let's go. Alltså det här är det ställde lite. Gud vad stor det lite. Jo, det har jag gjort så många gånger. Hej, välkomna. Okej, brusen. I'll be back. Lin, take control. We have now finished our antipasti and our glass of bubbles and now we're gonna move on to the next place. Pub crawl. That was a lovely start to this evening. It cost 860 kroners, which is like 90 bucks. Mm. Something like that, I think. Yeah, dollars. Bucks. Dollars, yes. Mm. Let's go to the next place. As you might have seen in last month's NordVPN episode, Grimm spent his whole allowance on cheap flight tickets to Finland. It was only with the help of a dentist dick we lured him to stay at home. This meant that he had no money left for Christmas sweets. And ever since that day, I have been receiving very suspicious emails with links that look kind of strange. They also look a lot like they could be coming from a certain fluffy lap hund. Not only that, a very suspicious looking Wi-Fi network has also appeared in our home. Did you know that if you use a public Wi-Fi or an open Wi-Fi network, it can actually be quite dangerous. Wi-Fi networks can be compromised, making it super easy for a hacker on the same network to read and steal your personal data like passwords and bank information. So now it's only with the help of NordVPN I can stay safe online in my own home. NordVPN hides my IP address and location and also encrypts data like passwords and sensitive information. NordVPN also has a threat protection feature to protect me from the phishing emails, which has come in very handy these last few weeks. Staying safe online is easy with NordVPN. It only requires the click of a button. Go to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia to get my exclusive Christmas NordVPN deal with four months for free on a two year plan. It's all risk free with NordVPN's 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, let's head back to the video. Whew. We are now at base camp to see if they have some mulled wine. 
they have every year a Christmas hotel, they call it. So they get a designer that designs the hotel all Christmassy. Oh, I'm so warm. That's why it's so beautiful. And it really adds to the ambiance of this cozy time of year. There's actually quite a lot of people out. I mean, I saw five. <laughs> that feels like many for a Thursday. But now we're gonna go in here and see. If maybe we can get a little uh, mulled wine or something, maybe coffee even. So we're gonna drink some glug, of course. <laughs> One glug at every spot. <laughs> we're gonna feel great tomorrow. And we're gonna drink, no, what? <laughs> we're gonna drink some glug and we're gonna eat some papakakor, gingerbread cookies on the loft. So we're gonna go upstairs. I've been out running all day. Here we have, <laughs> we had to bring the big bucks with us today because this little tray, my friends, are, is $20. <laughs> Lynn just goes, guess how much it costs. We were just after one, one glug. Normally it would be like maybe 90 kroners? Maximum. No, not even. No. Yeah, so all we wanted was a little bit of glug, which they sell. And we thought it would be maybe six bucks, $20. <laughs> This apparently is a whole deal. But you know what? We were just a little bit shocked, okay? All I've got to give for Christmas is this A Christmas kiss Close your eyes and pocket your lips Cause he At our third stop, small bar, and they have just now refurbished the whole place. This is the For our third stop of the evening, we opted for some fries as a snack and an alcohol-free beverage. They have just refurbished this bar, which is called Small Bar, and I must say that it looks really nice. When we arrived, it was almost full, so not every place we visited on our pub crawl was as empty as I make it look. <laughs> One thing that really stood out here was the staff. They were so nice and full of smiles. We ordered one portion of dirty fries, which is fries with a sauce and some toppings. It cost 119 Norwegian kroner, and the serving was huge, which was perfect for the two of us. We are now on our way to the last stop of the evening. Yes. What is it? Sengfösere. Yeah. <laughs> we give Svalbar a, like a nine out of ten. Yeah, I think like the the staff. And so the, nice. Very nice, and I haven't been there since they are. Uh, Refurbished. Yeah, me neither. Mm. But super nice staff, very quick, really good dirty fries, quick service, mm. super nice. Let's go to the last place. Let's do Come. it. Oi, 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 har det sett? Det var väldigt bra. Det måste ju vara en planet, för den är ju röd. Ja, men inte det är typ Venus eller något där. Jag älskar att vi bara kikar så här. We can see so many stars, and that's when me and Lynn always start guessing as if we know all the planets. So I just, I pointed one, I'm like, oh, that is a little bit orange red. She's like, yeah, it must be Venus. <laughs> we have no idea. And then I go, yeah, yeah, sure, yes, yeah, probably Venus. Have you seen Venus? <laughs> have you seen, I think that, I think that's oh, yeah, one of that, the planets. That's, uh, that's the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that must be the moon if you look at it. <laughs> 
We need to get Star Tracker. I had that on my other one, and then you can just point to this guy and it tells you which one it is. You need that one as well. I do. And then we can have a little course, mm. and then we'll have a test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to the next place. Scatter. <laughs> we are now at uh, Pubben, the pub, Radisson, the hotel. Mm. Many names. Many names. Barnes. Yes. Barnes, the pub. Gastro pub. Pubben, the pub. <laughs> says she's cold and here I am wrapped in my <laughs> in my walking sleeping bag and I'm like I don't know what you're talking about I love Super that you're cold, just behind me <laughs> she also has a uh, like sleeping bag your jacket is uh, very much longer oh, than mine let me show you <laughs> your yes. shoes are very much and I think also your um just me no your <laughs> leggings are my leggings. Uh, they have more my know, legs are more padded <laughs> yes, she's had she has cold clothing, which means she's cold, and I think that's a big lesson to us all. Wear human-sized sleeping bags. We are on our way home now. We're oh, just yeah. home now. Yep. And we've had a great evening. We stopped by Pulad. Wait, Puben, the pub, the gastro pub, uh, for an Irish coffee mm. before going home, and it was the which best was decision. Perfect. It was so good. He was so nice. He worked there. I love that this turned into a re review evening. It was really not supposed <laughs> to be, but there were so many things happening. <laughs> I think with the start of the mini antipasto and the champagne on the floor, it was just, it was a dramatic opening. <laughs> we haven't been outside on, in the village for a long time, but now we're going to go to bed and tomorrow morning, we go and get some coffee. Oh, Husky's coffee. But first we need to sleep for a really long time. And okay, notice how quiet it is now that somebody has stopped throwing away glass <laughs> bottles. It's so quiet. Maybe we have some northern lights. There's a bit of clouds that I think are hiding the northern lights. Mm -hmm. We have Venus. <laughs> and Jupiter. <laughs> and Jupiter and Saturn. <laughs> Saturn. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Now we're gonna the go. Moon. The, the moon. The <laughs> moon. <laughs> oh, we're just giggle, giggle girls. Look what I got. Yo. Different kind of coffee here <laughs> than in my home. <laughs> We're on a cabin trip. <laughs> the cabin trip. Now the thing is, like, I also have a milk foamer, uh, but I stole it and have it on the boat where I work. So now we need to make, and then my normal cafe, like the the press kind of cafe. Oh, French press. Yeah, it's broken. So now <laughs> it's it's it's. Poor <laughs> I can't do it. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. I'm so hard. I'm 
cried at this. <laughs> Literally, there's milk everywhere. <laughs> Something in here in my little bag <laughs> is saffron's biscotti that we just baked. Oh wow! Taste. Oh, As it looked that way, so much saffron in there. That's how good. Mmm. So this is like I think my perfect first breakfast. Mm -hmm. I love to wake up, have a coffee, and have something small, sweet. Yeah. To then like two hours later have a proper or like yeah. a one hour later do like the real thing i agree i love this kind of like especially mm. during christmas mm. so how do you feel being back mm. you're just back for a week now right mm. it, she tells me she came back for my gingerbread decoration evening or hour yeah or i think i, I came back for hanging out with you in general i <laughs> told you <laughs> if you hadn't been here um I wouldn't do it maybe because it's just nice to relax for a week and yeah. just have this, you know, be by yourself. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the gingerbread event is our is event. the most important one yeah. of the whole year. I've already planned my house for next year. You have to do the same. Mm. I have to find the idea. Yeah. I think this year was a little bit last minute, but very fun still. I think like everything you do, even if you don't have an idea and just like you freeze up, yeah. it's cool. But <clears> if you have a hundred percent an idea and you like follow through, yeah, it's probably better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But otherwise it's a, uh, no, it's super cozy. I love the dark season. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, waking up to this. It's so, it's so crazy. Mm. Don't you feel that when you come from the mainland, mm. like from the normal days and we're like, like even if I live here, I don't think about it daily, even though, you know, I talk about it all the time because you live in it. Mm. But when you think about it and it's like morning now and you look out, it's wild. It's a crazy feeling. It is. It's like, what? And now after this trip, what do you do? I'm going to go back to Sweden. So the boat is back in the home port, which mm. is uh, Gothenburg. My hometown. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do a few days of work before Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to go skiing. I didn't know that. No, with nice. my uh, yeah, with my family. We're gonna go for Christmas. So we rented a house in the northern part of, or like it would, I would say in the middle. But I'm a sluta. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that is so nostalgic. It's huge. I'm getting goosebumps. It's like for it's nostalgia. Yeah, we are like four people in a house for fifteen. So if you bring your friends. Oh my gosh. Mm. How long are you staying there for? Uh, a week. That's perfect. Mm. Don't take biscotti. Yeah. No. Fan, de var jättegoda. Tänk inte då när de hårdar till sig lite. Oj, de är verkligen oj. dag två nu. Så so today, we're gonna go after this and get some steps in the fresh air. Mm. That's gonna be really nice. Mm. And buy another coffee. That's mm. a luxury coffee. Mm. Say hello to the huskies. And I think that's maybe where our sleepover ends. Mm. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> What a day, what a day. Time to go get the daily coffee. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning, good morning. I still look like a soccer mom and Lynn still looks like she's in the city. <laughs> Let's no. go. It's really nice though. It's warm. It's warm, but it's a little bit more uh, wind than yeah. uh, yesterday. True, it was no wind yesterday. Mm. But you know what? I didn't uh, have a hat. No. no, and you were freezing, <laughs> you little fastlands baby. <laughs> It's a wild, tame, no, it's a wild long you've been reindeer grazing. They really are everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely everywhere. Yep. We're gonna continue now. 
uuniin. The village is uh, full of life today. You know, I kind of forget what goes on here since I'm always out of my cabin. But you know, Friday morning, people are going to work. People are at work. They are clearing the roads from snow, you know. Full activity here. Now we're gonna get some coffee. the university university center of Svalbard mm. I think this uh, university would be a really fun place to go at if I would be like you know just finishing high school I think or so like too. in any point doing like a PhD or the bachelor yeah. um, it's I think they do a lot of fun stuff yeah they do so much cool stuff and I think also the people doing like a master's here and mm. stuff like it must be interesting to actually be in the environment of what you're studying. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If you're studying like Arctic uh, glaciers and things. Like something in geology. Uh, yeah, geology or something. Yeah. yeah, it's all here. Yeah, I think this is a really cool school. Yeah. They also take students from all over the world. I know that they do it's a all big of school. And they do it in English, right? I think so. I think they do all of their uh, teaching in English mm. for everybody. It's cool, it's a big school. Yeah. Cool. So this is the university center. They all live in their dorms. I think they're there now. Yeah, yeah closer. The, big one. the new, the new ones. houses. I think they have. Uh, yeah, it would be a great thing yeah. if you ever um, are thinking about it. Yeah, we recommend it. Unis for the win. Go Unis! <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, the school bus is coming. We need to get out of the way. That was exciting. We have a school bus for all the kids. Wait, is that Northern Lights behind us? Or is that the lights? Maybe. It's Northern Lights or it's the milk. <laughs> Do you know? I think that's... <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's go to the Northern Lights. Come on. <laughs> we have to tell you, we actually don't see these lights. The camera does. That's why we were like, what? What's that? But that's sometimes when it's really faint Northern Lights, we can't see it. But the camera can. But I'd say 90% of the times when I film, it's not like this. No. Because there, there would be, it's just, we don't even know it's out, you know what I mean? It just looks like clouds. It looks like clouds to us. It looks like uh, gray clouds, but it doesn't to you. And that's what matters. <laughs> it is Northern Lights. It's just that it's too, uh, it's also very bright here for us to see. Mm. But it's magical. Oh my. Except that machine. The machine is machining. Under 
We're back. <laughs> it's us again. <laughs> we are back. Should we go home maybe? <laughs> No fear, just flip. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Double over time has come to an end. I have officially been in the village with Lynn for, I think it's like almost exactly 24 hours now. And I have to go home. I have to go to Christopher and Grimm. I'm gonna pick up some food actually because Christopher seems to be a little bit sick. I think he has a cold. But so we're gonna thank Lynn in a minute here for letting us join her in her home for a sleepover. We need to do this more often, both of her. We said this. We need to just do a sleepover every time she's back because it's so much fun to just get so much time to talk. And we, we stayed up till 3 a.m. last night, just talking and chilling and reminiscing. Now, do you know what we're doing? We're watching the videos that I've made from our trips together because it's such good memories. One of them, we went extreme sledding and one of them we went uh, skiing. I'm telling them that we're reminiscing about our trips that we've done. Now we're gonna say thank you to Lynn for letting us hang out. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I don't want you guys, or I, want, I don't want you to. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> I told her, I'm like me and my tripod and you guys are moving in. Yeah, <laughs> so but it's always, been, it's always so much fun. I always yeah. feel like when we hang out, and do stuff that we really so enjoy. Much fun. There's always uh, a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of life. We could just uh, stuff happening. Stuff happening. Happens. Just so random. Falls. Yeah, it's always laughter and craziness and weird things happen, like the milk explosion <laughs> <laughs> and the pancake flipping. It's just we kind of just play and have fun. Yeah, I think that's the like. What's say man? Type. I don't know the word for it, but I think yeah. No, but also the the other day some happened, but the some mantra, like that. Oh, it's yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Sometimes when you try to, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of our silver line. Well, maybe it's the red red mm. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's a great uh, outro. But we're gonna see Lynn maybe in January next time. I think so, yeah. And then we start our cabin season together, you, me, and Christopher in February. Bring out the snowmobiles. You got the new yes. ones. That's gonna be so exciting. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna say goodbye to you guys now. Thank you, Lynn, for letting us stay. Please stay. Bye. Bye. And see you next week. This sleepover with Lynn was so much fun, and I left her home feeling full of energy. I'm not a person with a big friend group, so I really treasure the moments I get with my besties. We both decided on it being mandatory to have a sleepover and a night out on the town every time she comes back from being gone for a while. On my drive home to the cabin, I could see the northern lights starting to appear all over the sky. I stopped my car by the side of the road and spent the next hour taking photos, filming, and just taking it all in. This day was one of those where it's so truly pitch black that if there were no stars shining, I would have thought someone put a blanket over us. The northern lights were not the usual ones where it's like one big curtain, more like smaller curtains or aurora light pillars reaching for the stars in all directions.
absolutely wild. The sky is full, like everywhere. Oh my gosh, we have to look this way. Just look, and it's all, it's green, red, purple, and blue. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen blue in such a long time. Okay, let's look this way. so wild because it doesn't stop sorry the focus on is on the northern lights and that's fine <laughs> but like it's never ending i've been out here for over an hour now i think and it's just everywhere it starts there and then it stops and oh my gosh there's so much on that side now oh my gosh i'll get out of the way 